just a bad guy, just very bad. You know, he um, just an evil son of a bitch. And I had a discussion with him. I said, I had enormous respect for Bill. And I said, and, and I think it, it, it was mutual. And I said, Bill, I have played bad guys for so many years, I'm empty. I'm just, I can't do it anymore. Can we somehow assign something to the background of this character that explains why he is who he is, that gives him a sociological background that um, justifies who he is? And then I remember the storyline was Christmas, I forget what year, where Nikki, Melody Thomas, gone, never knew anything about my past, and she asked me some questions about my past, my childhood, which had been a mystery until then. And I opened up for the first time, and Bill Bell had come up with a wonderful story. That is really the reason I'm still there. He gave this man a background where he was left in an orphanage at the age of seven by his parents, his destitute parents. The moment I played that thing, I knew I was going to stay because it humanized the character. And it allowed the character a vulnerability, a humanity, and explained why he was tough, angry, and yet could be, if approached the right way, vulnerable, gentle, and uh, boy, Bill knew how to do that. He, he just he just wrote a wonderful character. And there was another scene I did with Dorothy McGuire a little later, where she's my mother and she comes to visit me after 30 years. I don't trust her. I said, you're my mother, you might be an imposter, an imposter after my money. And I had no idea how I was going to play that scene. She was wonderful, Dorothy McGuire. And I had no idea. I knew the dialogue, knew the words, but no idea how I was going to play it. And we did the scene, and it's one of my all-time favorite scenes. Did it in one take. It's a mixture of anger, sadness, Enormous sadness and anger, both mixed. I knew she was my mother because he, brilliantly they had written that she talks about the fact that I had a hole in my sweater and only she could have known that. I knew then she was not an imposter, but she was indeed my mother. I'll never forget that moment. So those two, that was Bill Bell's brilliance though, he knew how to do that.